Oh, sure. It's unbelievable. I I got the best finish of my FIFA career when team of this the ultimate team of the season is out. So one of these rewards is a tradable ultimate team of the season pack. And I'm pretty pumped. We went 16 and 3, gave the last one away. Let's open up our rewards and see what we get. Should be the best rewards of the year. Don't expect anything from these. No. We'll go through the team and the tactics after. Okay. After rewards. Another one? Nope. Okay. All right. I think there's only like four bad players. Come on. Ooh. So, Musiala is a million. I, I gotta go with them. Teo Hernandez is half a million, so we'll go Musiala. Louie! Let's go with the Wankaroo. But, Teo Hernandez is 500k. I'm building a Barca team, so I, I feel like I should go Louis. But I love Kane. I don't really have an Italian team. We're going to go Lewandowski. Not going to complain about those reds. Ship him to the club. Let's keep on rolling here. And now to the store. Let's go. I am pumped for this pack. Let's open up all these other packs. Saved them for all of you. Probably not going to get anything. But if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Electrum. Or you can just fast forward through just to get to the good stuff too. Which I'm sure a lot of you are doing. But in case you pack something, you want to have it for the video. So I save some of these packs like this. You never know. Rest of the world team of the season. Or that. All right. I think we got rid of all the crap packs. Now we're on to the good stuff. I'll scroll on over. We're going to just keep open all our packs. Okay. What a grand pack. There's the ultimate team of the season tradable. This will be the last pack we open. Another dud. So apologies. That was a bad pack. Now onto the good stuff, hopefully. So I think we have two or three 50k packs ultimate two 50k I don't know all right let's just start here and open all all right so who do I want you I guess theoretically I want the most expensive guy All my packs are tradable. Who would I take? Man. If we could get someone over 2 mil. That would be huge. And there's a lot of guys over 2 mil. So the options are there. It's not probable. But it's also not that improbable. The odds are probably 30% for someone over 2 million. Okay, 50K. So far these, okay. Now we're actually getting into the 
weekend league rewards here. Terrible pack. It's almost like they know I'm getting a nice pack, so all these other packs are going to suck. Another 50k. Yep. Terrible. I th think now we're under the ultimate pack. Yep. Not even left. Right it is. Chris, nope. Ruben. Alright, it's not bad. I mean, it's bad, but... Not even worth it. Okay. Six minutes into the video, what you've all been waiting for. Here we go. Tradable. Come on. No. So. I think this is about the worst you can get. The only good card I can get that's worth anything is Greaseman. That's it. Else, they're all worth under 100k. Unbelievable. Greaseman? Like, literally the worst you can get. Ship it, ship it. Do I care if it's first owner? I don't. All right, that sucks. It was like a chance at, at beating the game, pretty much. Getting two, three million coins. Um, so that really sucks. Here's the squad. We now are adding Lewandowski and Musiala. Doesn't do... Well, we'll have to figure out what to do with Lewandowski, but I'm going to find a spot for him. Could do that, but Puskas has been so good. So, here's my stats with Kane. Money, Puskas, very solid. Did the SBC, worth it in my opinion. Zidane did the SBC, definitely worth it in my opinion. Rodri did the SBC. Definitely worth it. Game changer. 6-3, high, high, everywhere. Busquets did the SBC, game changer. 6-2, medium, high, great defensive midfielder. One of my favorite Barca players. Love this Paqueta card as well. I mean, putting up some stats at the CM role. Um, Reese James is okay. Diaz, one of the best center backs in the game. Araujo, one of the best center backs in the game. Baldi solid, Ter Stegen solid. In terms of tactics, so I have this 4-1-2-1-2 and I can use it, but I've been starting games in this 4-3-2-1. I think it's the tactics that like the guy that won the E Champions League used. I don't always stay in it, it depends how the game's going. But these are the tactics, here's the formation. Instructions are Kane stays up, Puskas stays up, Zidane comes back, Rodri stays central, Busquets stays central, Pas uh, Paqueta plays out wide. So you have Zidane and Paqueta kind of in a 4 4 2 on defense. And Reese James stays back, Baldi just balance everything. If this isn't working, but it's 0-0. Zero, zero. I move to this 4-2-3-1. Super balanced. And I go possession. So just trying to possess the ball. I also go to this if I'm winning. And I want to close the game out. Play Paqueta at this, this kind of right attacking mid. And it's very balanced. I do have both these guys coming back and get in the box. Zidane just, you know, balance. Kane, target man. Cover center, stay back. Cover center, stay back. These are on stay back as well. So it's defensive, but not overly defensive. If I'm losing, 
even if it's like the 30th minute, I've been going to this formation. And it saved me a couple games. Sometimes you just need to press. For whatever reason, how I have this laid out right now, I'm not getting burned with constant pressure. I don't know what I'm doing, but something I'm doing has changed it. So we'll start from the back here. Stay back, stay back, stay back, overlap, stay back, overlap. So all four of these guys stay back. These two guys are just balanced. So not like stay back or get forward, just balance. Then these two left mid, right mids come back and get, get in behind. So they're just constantly running. And these two guys I have stay forward. So this is this probably won me three or four games this formation. And occasionally someone has like five at the back or three at the back or something. And if nothing else is working, I'll go to this 5-4-1. It's not overly defensive. So this isn't great to hold a lead, but it's just a different look at times. And sometimes I like that. Um, I think the key here is to use the D-pad and have your, um, a, your wing backs attack. I have them on stay back, but I always have them attack. And then what you do is stay back. This is going to get forward. This will be get forward. These guys cut inside and get in behind both Puskas and Zidane. And it ends up kind of creating two center forwards, a left forward, right forward, and your striker and Kane. Busquets stays back. Rodri is balance. This Rodri position, whoever's in it, scores a lot of goals and makes a lot of chances from it. I think my favorite player in it is Paqueta, but I I don't want to play Rodri or Busquets at center back. I like having these guys. They're so big right here. Um, so anyways, that's the video and the tactics. Sucks on our rewards, but can't complain with the results. 16 wins is the best I've ever done in weekend league. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for the length. Adios.